You've got you've got a new toy. Well, I have a box of parts, a bag of parts. <laughs> so in in this uh, the envelope, please. Um, Michael does his annual uh, gift video uh, for Christmas, and I uh, had just purchased the uh, Pixie kit, uh, forty meter CW QRP radio, right? So for ten bucks, it's a great little project. You get a um, fully functional CW, um, one and a half watt output. Um, it is rock bound, so I think seven point two three. One point four. What was the other two frequencies? I don't remember what the other frequencies were. It was seven uh, get, seven zero two three seven zero six zero, and it was seventy one twenty two. Right. So seventy one twenty two, right in the edge of that, um, the forty meter um, technician mm -hmm. portion. Right. Yep. So here is the bill of sale. Here, um, I would like I like to thank you. Thank you, but then I like this. Extra is just some stuff to throw in your junk box. <laughs> so there so we go. N1 ZAX here, our friend, uh, just throws in a bag of parts. An extra bag so of parts. Look at that. There's a, there's a couple crystals in there. Uh, there's a US uh, mini USB. Uh, I think there's two mini USB ports there. A couple little IC. I think these are either a transistor or they're like a, a voltage regulator. A big Rubicon cap that will not fit on the board. And some resistors and caps and stuff. So extras. I'm always a fan of that because, you know, I, I blow stuff up. Um, the instructions. It doesn't give you like a step-by-step -step by any means, guys. So you're going to have to kind of play with this. Here's a schematic. Let me get that up a little closer here. here. Look, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to keep you on the solo. I think. Oh yeah. Go so, oh, there. You go. Please, and yeah. me. <laughs> there, and you can get this on the Pixie Kit website too. Okay, this you don't have to take a screenshot of what I'm holding up here. We'll pull the web uh, kit up in a second. So. Right, and then we have the list of components, and then a layout of the PCB right here, so you kind of know where everything is going. Uh, it is in that uh, wonderful Chinese English font. Yep. Okay, but it's not like it's bad. Um, it works just fine. So in here in the Pixie, there aren't a lot of components. Uh, here is the PCB. That's about two by two square. It's, it's all whole big. through. Yeah. It's all whole through, so you don't have to have any fancy soldering equipment to do this. It's a nothing, standard, uh, nothing a, a surface little, mount. Yeah. yeah, so no, no surface mount. So you can just go ahead and a little Weller iron, uh, some decent solder. You would just be fine, I would think. And here's all your components, resistors, caps. Little blue inductors. The little blue resistors are not resistors. They're inductors. A uh, little 9-volt power jack. Headphone jack. A little variable uh, resistor. And this runs off of LM386. So you got the little IC right here. And it's got a it's got a little base there, too. So you're good on that. And a, SM, or a um, BNC connector, too. All right. And I think he even threw in a couple extra BNC for oh, like adapters. Adap well, no, that's actually if you got some coax. Okay. Probably some RG fifty eight. Oh, or so you can put a, oh, so you can put a BNC mail on. Yeah. Nice. So you, for, again, for ten bucks, um, a little winter project. It probably probably only takes you two hours to get this all the uh, my my daughter, my wife just got home and they're they're already. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, I would say this would probably take you a good two hours to get everything done up correctly. I think it'd take, right? yeah, yeah, a good evening, good evening project. Maybe a, yeah. maybe split it over two evenings because you're probably going to have to do a little bit of troubleshooting. And um, Yeah, and the only thing I'm seeing here, just looking at this now, there you go. Um, that's a little bit of a, yeah, that. so that's the board right there that I have. 
you can kind of see there's two little spots right at the top here. They just kind of almost cut off at the top there. I, mm -hmm. I um not overly thrilled about that, but I think that'll still work. And actually, now I look at that's just part of the ground plane. So I think that's I think where the uh, right the phone and the key jack go. I so think you'll be okay. That. Looking looking at these pictures on the website here, it looks like yeah. they that board the board's the same that way too. So it's uh, yeah. So that should just be part of the ground plane. So that mm -hmm. probably isn't too bad. Um, but again, and then you can go online and you can download the uh, if you have a a uh, 3D printer, you can build a case or you can 3D print the case. Yep. Otherwise, if you're um, not 3D printer enabled, you can just probably buy another one for five five or ten bucks. Right. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. And if you're not if you're not in really inclined to solder, I think for 15, 20 bucks you can get these pre made. I think they let's, right. they do have it. Yeah, and it, the prices are cheap, super cheap. It's like oh, yeah. it's thirteen dollars, ten dollars. Um, yeah, I mean, so it maybe maybe you got a couple fully uh, assembled for twenty four. So. You got a couple Padawans if you're you're Elmering and you want to help yeah. them all get started, or if you're a club and you want to do a project night, this is a great project. That would be a great five people in your pro in your club on 40 meters and doing yeah. this. Oh, so yeah. Working at CW at night. That would be that'd be a pretty good idea. Yeah. I'm thinking I might have to pick this one up. The 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 three crystal kit. The 7023, okay. the 60, and the 122. So, wow, three yeah. crystal. Seventeen dollars. I <laughs> man, inflation is getting uh, real bad nowadays. Big, big spender. <laughs> We'll um we'll do the uh, KB9 VBR net on seventy twenty three CW. There we go. <laughs> Forty meter URP. It puts out. What did you say? It puts out one point two watts at twelve volts. I, I want to say one point two to one point five. Yeah. I thought it was. I mean, so it. But uh, with CW, that's actually you know that's it's really reasonable. that's really good. Yeah, you. I mean, at at that power, even at that power, you'll make some stupid contacts and you'll be amazed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'd probably end so. up with a pile up again. We got some great comments coming in, so <laughs> you know, don't underestimate the joy of a bag of parts. <laughs> hey, I have free parts, I'm not going to turn down. All right. And just remember, troubleshooting pairs with a nice cold beer, <laughs> or a cocktail, Either or a cocktail, or. yeah, yep. yeah, and it'll smell of solder. So. Mm, <laughs> I love so. the smell of solder in the morning. Yeah, so I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking forward to you. Now, this this item, the Pixie Kits, we, that was in my holiday gift list. So I, I I think that would be a good, you know, if you're looking for something to to get another, you know, a ham friend or something like that, I, 10 bucks, that's that's like in the price range of white elephant category. So. It, it's right down there. I mean, realistically, if you were stuffing your own stocking, you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to... Heck. Even if your wife was what I mean, your wife, if your wife found out that you came home with a radio for 10 bucks, $10 radio, she probably, she probably wouldn't say anything bad. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not. So, yeah. no, it's, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to seeing this thing uh, completed. So. I am too. I, I, but I actually have to have like a night off. To you do have to it. have a night that's, off to that's do the it. Problem. <laughs> That's my problem. Is well, that maybe I you'll get a, not maybe, any nights off. Maybe you'll get a couple days between the Christmas and New Year's. I, I better put in for it. I think is what I got to do. I you got to put in send for an it. email tonight. Yeah. Like I am not working. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.